So this isn't really chapter two. This is just kind of like an amendment to chapter one. Um, I know I kept kind of defending like how I uh, became friends with Dawn. I kind of equate it with somebody who saw somebody across the bar, you know, and they had something about them that told you, I want to know her or I want to know him. She said something that made me feel like I need to know her. Um, doesn't matter, you know, like it, it, it certainly was meant to be, but for some reason I felt like the way I phrased it was like, I, I had made a decision to become friends with somebody. Um, and my friendship was only based on that. We're 18 years friends, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's not my friendship wasn't based on that. It was, um, it was, I was attracted to a friendship with her based on something that I needed or wanted in my life. And I don't think that that's any different than any other way people meet each other. Uh, I also want to say that I had, had gone on to say something about the, like tchotchke. We went tchotchke shopping. <laughs> um, we actually, believe it or not, with them, I joined a different softball team. And it was a blast. We had so much fun. It was nothing like the stuffy development one that I was in where everybody was, yeah, maybe they made it seem like they all got together as like a social aspect of it too. But, um, you know, holding their wine glasses with their pinkies out, it really wasn't as much um, fun as the next team that I joined, which is amazing when you think about it. Like, how was I even talked into playing softball more? Um, I think I played a couple seasons, actually. I think we even played on two different leagues. And, uh, what was fun about it was that, that like after our, every game, we would go to one of the people's houses on our team. And now of course, Dawn and Mike are both part of this team. So like, we still hung out as like we played softball together and then we went and actually like hung out together too. And we would go to, you know, what every person hosted like a potluck, you know, we all go back to their houses and we, you know, have some cocktails and some food and whatever. And it was always like, it was like a really cool social experience. So I'm really grateful that I had met her to even like wash my mouth out with something better as far as the softball experience that I really did not like, I really did not like that. And I, I am proud of myself for having the mentality of, um, sticking with something to the end that I began, uh, you know, your parents tell you, you can't quit things because you have, you know, you committed to being a part of it. And I am glad that I was taught that and I stuck it out to the very end, but, um, I definitely wouldn't have ever picked up another glove and softball again if I hadn't met Dawn and Mike. So, even with that, um, so I'm trying to think what else I wanted to amend of the first chapter, but it doesn't really, I don't have to have any huge amendments. Just, I really felt like maybe I was misrepresenting my, uh, connection to Dawn as being strictly about only meeting her so I could be around her horse or something. It was, that's what attracted me to, um, I guess, becoming out of my comfort zone, which would be to approach a stranger. She was a stranger and say, Hey, my name is, and I heard you talking about your horse and, uh, I have horses in my background, you know, I don't really think I said, so we need, you know, so let's be friends. <laughs> I think it just kind of worked out where it worked out, but like it was knowing something about her made it easier for me to come out of my comfort zone and introduce myself because I feel like she was kind of brought into my experience. Uh, intentionally, you know, I think, I think the universe works in really great ways and brings people into your life and brings things into your life and brings experience into your life. And you just have to, if it, if you feel a strong 
pull to something, don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Had I ignored my wanting to meet that girl and, and, and played the shy kid or something, or had I waited till the end of the game when maybe she had something to do when the game ended and she was just going to bolt and maybe I would have lost my opportunity then. Um, maybe, you know, maybe I would have lost so much of where my future was taking me because if, if I didn't have Ritz, I would not be where I am today. I know that for a million, 1%. I would not be where I am today if, if I had not met Ritz. And therefore, if I had not met Dawn. So, I just thought I'd, I'd clarify the, the friend part. She was like a legitimate friend. <laughs> like she, I didn't use her for a connection to horses. Just that her having a connection to horses is what made me say, I think I want to know her. Yeah, I think she should be my friend. <laughs>